नमस्ते एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू डेटा मिलेनियल्स हे एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर एक्सेल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी आंसरिंग वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई हैव गॉट ऑन इन माय ईमेल एंड द क्वेश्चन वाज दैट हाउ यू कैन गेट द मल्टीपल कॉलम्स और योर डिजायर्ड कॉलम्स इन द एडजेसेंट सेल्स और कॉलम्स फ्रॉम योर डेटा सो व्हेनएवर समबडी क्रिएट्स अ पिवर्ड इट बेसिकली गिव्स अस द डेटा इन अ row wise format so let me show you what the exact question was and how we can solve it so i have this raw data here and what i'll do is that i'll create a pivot table and the question was that if i want car name and mpg cycle and displacement these four columns shown as So shown in the adjacent cells for example car car name is a and the displacement for example is 6 and cycle let's take this and cycle as 2 now somebody wants data in this format while when they create pivot table they get data in this particular format so car name comes as a and displacement the header is invisible and they get data of the displacement value and then the cycle value so i'll show you exactly what they are talking about so i have created this pivot table if i take car name in row values and i want my mpg to be appeared in this column then the cycle appeared in this column but when they take mpg into column they will get this kind of a structure data structure but they didn't want it so they put the mpg in rows so this is what happened is that they get the data let me show you that the earlier format which i have created so they get the data in this way so if i take car and then if i take mpg under rows the mpg column header is not visible but they get the values of mpg and if i take displacement above mpg again the displacement column header is invisible and they get a kind of a structure that within this car we have this value and within this value we have this value so it's kind of a tree structuring but there they want the data in this particular format so what we can do is that we have to create a pivot table first and then we need to change the design of the pivot table so what i'll do is that i'll click in pivot table then right click on it and we'll go to pivot table options when you go to pivot table options you will see that there is a display option under this display option you will get this classic pivot table layout i'll check this button and i'll click okay now you will get your car name display and mpg as a column headers and their values in the columns so this is what the question was how can i get multiple columns in the adjacent sorry multiple attributes of the data in adjacent columns in a pivot table and now if you want to get the count of car name you can put car name as a count and you will get the total value but still the thing is what i think is that you will have these values but you can see that at each every level you will see this total right now again if i include one more attribute for example cycle within row you will get total for displacement then again you will get total for mpg right so how can i remove this totals you have to click on this pivot table and then you will go to design then go to subtotals and based on your requirement if you do not want to show subtotals you can click on this do not show subtotals if you want to show all the subtotals so let me let me click on this one do not show subtotals when you click on do not show subtotals you will be able to remove the subtotal values for the columns now if you want to provide the subtotal or show subtotals then you can click on this second option so it will show you the subtotal for everything the third option is show all subtotals at the top of the group so if you want the subtotal at the top of a group you can click on it so you will get the subtotal at the top here now i do not want the subtotal so i will remove subtotals here 
The other options is grand totals, whether you want the grand total of the row, on the row. So you can choose it from here. Now what will happen is that if I take this HP at the first, okay, now you will see is that the values are not repeating here. The reason behind it is that these two cars have the same HP. Now if you want to repeat these two, the HP value, if you want to repeat the HP value here, what you need to do is that you need to go to design, then click on report layout and then select show in the tabular format or in the compact format you can select it from here and if you want to repeat all item then you can click on the second last option is to repeat all item labels so you can see that the hp which was earlier showing only 66 here and this was blank is now appearing here okay so this is how you create a pivot table where you can show the multiple attributes of your raw data in columns Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.